Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hi. Welcome, everyone. Um, Rachel Rothman here from Nutrition in Bloom. And today we are going to talk about what I call micro moments. So um, I'm going to share some personal stuff here, which is why I wanted to talk about this here. But I also want to wish you all a very happy new year. This is my first live video of 2022. And I know that um, wherever you are, life is probably still pretty stressful. There's still a lot going on. And I didn't feel that it would be best for me to come on uh, my first video of the year and tell you what you should be doing and what you have to be doing and um, the things you need to do to help your child eat. What I instead want to focus on, and I'm thinking I might focus on this, focus on this over the next few weeks, is what are these like little tweaks and little changes that you can make as a parent that are actually going to help your child obtain this positive feeding relationship and get joy at the table. Because when that happens, when mealtimes go better, that is just one small piece of getting them on the path to trying new foods and eating new foods and just exploring new foods. Okay, so it might not feel like the sexiest thing or the, you know, the thing that kind of sparks your interest the most, but these are the things that I promise can help with that feeding relationship. A lot of parents, you know, you, I know you want, you want your child to try more things. You want to know what you can do, but this is exactly what you can do. And this one thing that I'm going to talk about today is something that you can do that isn't adding anything into your day or changing the way that you go about things because I don't know about you, but I know a lot of parents that I've talked to lately, myself included, we're just trying to get by right now, right? Like, let's just get through January. So that being said, um, if this interests you, if you want to dive deeper with me, I invite you, let's set up a free 15-minute discovery call where we can dive into what's going on with you specifically. My program, Conquering Mealtimes, is also open for enrollment right now, so I will link to that. It is a... Um, sorry about that. I'm in my office and I just heard something. It is an online course along with um, some, sorry, I lost my train of thought for a second. It's an online course that has short bite-sized um, modules that you go through. There's also a one-on-one -on -one component where you get time with me every single month and a group aspect to it as well. Okay, back on track. Um, okay, so I wanna talk about these micro moments that I'm calling them. And I also want to tell you where this kind of came from. So. Um, I am a worrier. I worry a lot, I have anxiety. It's absolutely something that I have worked through over, um, I mean, it's it's been, um, I don't wanna say an issue, but it's been present in most of my life. And over the past few years, I have been fortunate to get support kind of working through some of this stuff. And, um, you know, I worry about, and, and let's relate this to our kids, right? Because we're talking about our kids and feeding. So am I doing enough for my kids' development? Am I saying things that's going to make them, you know, be a horrible person? Am I helping them to grow to be kind? Am I spending enough time with them? I mean, the list goes on and on and on, right? Right? Yes. You know. So I keep a five-year journal. It's this, um, some of you might heard, have heard of it before, but it's like a little five-year journal where um, each day has a page and um, there's like five little slots. So there's like four or five lines for each year. So you basically, every day you put in the year and you write just like a little moment, a little memory, just something that you can go back and kind of look at. And um, I started doing this about two and a half years ago. Um, and it's, you know, I remember some days, I don't remember every day. It takes me usually like 30 seconds. But um, I, tr what I try to write in there is something, something memorable. Maybe it's something that my kid said that was really funny. Um, or maybe it was something that I did with my child. I think that sometimes we have so much pressure on ourselves to 
um, like, am I spending enough time with my child? Am I doing this? Am I doing that? But it, you don't have to, it's not about like a full day, right? It's about like moments. And those moments are what you are going to remember and what your child is going to remember. So um, one of my moments was um, my, we went ice skating as a family um, over our winter break and I was able to take both of my girls on the ice. I held their hands going out there. Um, there were moments of fun. It was also, it like killed my back because of how I had to hold my youngest daughter like under her armpits. Um, it hurt my feet, but I did have these moments these moments of joy, these moments of helping my kids do something new. And that's what I wrote down in my journal. And um, why I like keeping this journal is, yeah, so I can look back on this in a few years and be like, oh, you know, my daughter learned to use potty or um, whatever else it might be. But also at the end of the day, I can sit there and think about what, what went right today even if it was a little bit of a moment, you know, my ice skating example, did we have meltdowns before? Absolutely. During? Yep. After? Absolutely. But it was that little moment. And that's the moment that I want to remember. So, okay, let's kind of get to feeding, right? But it's these little moments. And it's those moments that remind me, I am doing it. I am parenting. I am a good mom. You know, we are all we are all good parents and caregivers. We may have hard moments or moments that we're not proud of, but we are all good, right? So it's these little moments and it's those moments where I can just look back and think like, okay, that did go right. So sometimes when I work one-on-one um, -on -one with clients or even in my Conquering Mealtimes program, I talk about how can we keep track of these little moments? Because it's like, the, there's no you know, I don't have a magic wand where I'm going to say, okay, you know, take my program and your child is all of a sudden going to eat 10 different types of fruits and vegetables. They're going to try everything you make. They're going to sit there. They're going to be polite, you know, and we wouldn't want that. We want our child to have independence. We do. We really do, even though it's very, very frustrating. So what I want you to think about when it comes to feeding is Maybe if you are struggling just at every single meal, can you find a micro moment in the meal, a micro moment that might be a second, two seconds, where it's going okay, where you ask your child a question and they answer, where your child maybe gets food all over themselves and, you know, before you have to give them a bath and everything, it is kind of funny and it is, it is, there's like, a, there's a smile on your face. Now, we think about these moments because these are the things that will help you feel more confident and just feel more joy when it comes to feeding. Feeding should be filled with joy. Feeding should be fun. Not every minute of it. As a professional who teaches this stuff, every single minute of feeding my kids is absolutely not filled with joy. If it is for you, then um, you are a unicorn and, you know, but these little, little moments. So maybe at your next mealtime, I want you to think, was there one moment? Um, and I'm going to give you an example. Last night, we, um, we, you know, we're, this is our first week back into our school routine and things are a little crazy. So if things are crazy for you too, it is for everybody. But we had a moment during dinner where my older daughter and my younger daughter were both kind of talking at the same time, but talking about their days at school and what the first thing they do when they get to school is. So my older daughter wanted to talk, my younger daughter wanted to talk. And it was that moment where I thought like, this is joyful. I am, you know, I, I put dinner on the table. Um, my kids are talking, we are enjoying ourselves. And that, even though it only lasted a few minutes, that's what it is about. And it is those moments, those positive moments that are going to lead to bigger moments in the future and lead to your child enjoying mealtime more. So I just want you to think about this when eating. And I want you to think about, you know, when we come to the table positively, our children are more positive. Um, they, we have something called mirror neurons where um, like our, our children, those we spend time with, um, will 
um, take on the emotions that we're feeling, right? And sometimes we do this with other people too. So if we're more positive, they're going to be more positive. So the more we can not talk about the food, not make it about, you know, this is like, you have to eat it, try one bite. The more we can stay positive, I promise the long-term benefits are going to be huge. It might not feel like that in the moment, but it, it is there. And that is exactly what I help clients figure out and figure out how to do. So if you feel comfortable, um, maybe at a mealtime, maybe when you remember, jot down a little note in your phone, you know, find a piece of scratch paper and just write what happened in that micro moment. Even if you don't save the paper, even if it's just jogging your memory, and that is creating these positive associations with food. So this is something you could do where it's not a ton of extra work, right? It doesn't involve you cutting up cucumbers like stars or, you know, baking something in the shape of hearts or whatever. This is just something you can do that's already happening. And I want you to start thinking about these. And um, if you feel comfortable, come into our Facebook group or send me an email, however you want to get a hold of me, and tell me what that moment was and share it with me and let us celebrate that with you because those are all important, no matter how tiny, how micro that might be. Okay, thank you for watching my video, for being here with me today. As I mentioned, I'm going to link to my free 15 minute call, discovery call, my Conquering Mealtimes program, where you can get more support when it comes to eating because um, you need it, right? And we aren't meant to do every single job. We are meant to get help and we are meant to be a community and um, support one another. Um, thank you. I'm wishing you a wonderful rest of the day wherever you are and I can't wait to connect with you soon. Have a great one.